Hi ladies and gentlemen, you welcome back to this channel. Today, I want to talk about the three main factors why your fishes are not growing well. The three main factors why your fishes are not growing well. A lot of people have actually come up with theories supporting this fact I'm about to tell you. However, I actually carried out the experiment myself and I'm going to be sharing that with you the three major things that is responsible for the fishes not growing well good can you just take a look at these fishes can you see these fishes look at this one as well can you see anything Okay, now take a good look at this. Can you see? They are still at uh, finger length size. They are still at finger length size. Despite the fact that they were all hatched on the same day. On the same day. Now I'm going to show you the ones I took to the farm. Okay. Take a good look at the one on the farm. Can you see them? How big they are? And the same day, they were hatched the same day from the same parent. From the same parent, they were hatched. So, that shows you that this first point I'm about to tell you is valid. And that is water. Water plays a major role in the life of your fishes. If you do not have constant water supply to your fishes, of course, it's more or less like you are joking coming to fish farming. Water plays a very major vital role and uh, water can never be overemphasized. The importance can never be overflowed. So I will want you to look into your water and as you know there are even some things you need to consider about water. It's not just having uh, do you have water there? Yes. Pump it into the fish pond. No. There are some things you have to uh, carry it out such as the water analysis itself. You have to carry it out. And when I say water analysis Part of what I'm talking about here is you need to know the pH of that your water, you need to know the level of the soft gases in your water, you need to know the um, amount of the, the uh, what, what do we call it, how clean is the water, a lot of things you need to do concerning the water analysis. So I would not want this video to be too long. So. You can do your own justice to that. Water is the first one. The second one uh, on my list of the reason why your fishes are not growing uh, falls down to the feeding. How often do you feed your fishes? A lot of people have actually asked me, how many times should I feed my fingerlings? How many times should I feel, feed my grow out? Of course, the answer is not so far-fetched. Any feed you give to your fishes can still sustain them for more than 18 hours. Research has actually proven that. Uh, and I, I'm not here to reinvent the wheel. However, I will always advise you when your fishes are at tender age, especially the fingerlings, juvenile stage, you can feed them twice, morning and evening so that they can pick up faster. And the reason why I'm suggesting that to you is because some will not even come out to feed in the morning. Whereas the, you may be uh, lucky to have them come to feed in the evening. So that's the reason why you have to feed them twice in a day. At the same time, uh, the protein requirement for your fishes at that tender age is very high, especially from fingerlings, juvenile, 
the protein requirement for them is around like 48 percent crude protein and in order for you to meet that target you need to feed them like at least twice at least twice some people do feed them like three times uh, I want to send this to you that you shouldn't waste your fee make sure your fishes are eating the feed okay uh, the third point is uh, almost like a standalone yet it has oops to join the two points previously mentioned and the third one is your brood stock the breeding fishes the one the appearance in case you don't know what brood stock means it means the parents so the parents you used for hatching your fishes what are their sizes are they matured enough what are your even uh, physical observation do they look as if they're going to give you a good result because some people they just think taking a fatty um, female fishes will help their fishes grow when you hatch their eggs no it goes beyond that some fishes they actually grow faster as a result of being a cannibalist they fed on other fishes so now if you have used that same type of fish to hatch your fishes there is probability that most of your fishes will not come out fine because because their parent is big doesn't mean they will be big as well uh, the, the, the length, the size of fishes is dependent on so many things. It's dependent on so many things. I will not be discussing that in deep in this video. However, I want you to note that if you are into uh, fish hatching, you need to consider the brood stock. You need to consider the parent fish, both the male and the female. If you want to hatch, I would always advise you check out for the fat of your fishes. And how do you do that? Of course, by physical observation. By physical observation, observe the female catfish. This one is mainly female now. Observe the female catfish you are going to be using. Is it fatty? By mere examination, you will you'll be able to determine whether a fish is fatty or not if it's fatty I will not advise you use its eggs to um, maybe you fertilize its eggs to give you your own fingerlings rather go for the ones with lean body yet big in size I hope you understand that difference now now if you also want to hatch fishes and you want the result to be fine I will want you to go for uh, a female fish uh, weighing like 1.8 above 1.8 kg above anything below that I'm not so sure about the the success rate I'm not so sure about it so ladies and gentlemen if you are able to uh, combat these factors your fishes will grow faster and they will not look like a runt now falling back to the this uh, b-roll I shared with you in this video now what was responsible for those fishes in the white tank still at that their stage is as a result of uh, mismanagement to you mismanagement now what do I mean by mismanagement mismanagement can also uh, contribute to your fishes not growing as they ought to have grown mismanagement now if you take a good look at the first pond where I told you the in that pond I think I had like four fishes left in the second pond I have just one would you believe that in that second pond where I had just one uh, fish left, 
Previously, I had like close to 50 fingerling size. Yet, this just one fish, it swallowed it up. What do you think was responsible for that? Mismanagement, because I ought to have removed the bigger ones from the smaller ones. Okay, now let's go to the third tank. In the third tank, you observe that most of them, they are, all, are almost of the same sizes. What is responsible for that? The water was not given to them as at when due. I only give them water when I think or when I hope I have the chance to do such. If you are into fish farming, you shouldn't. You shouldn't use your livestock uh, to, to, to play games. Rather, you have, to come, uh, you have to focus on the success of your fishes, except if you are doing it for fun. However, another point, why, uh, another reason why those fishes, they are still in that their stage, is because the feeding was not given as at when deal. I practically turned them into brew stock. You know brew stock, you feed them like once in two weeks, maybe. So these same ones, I fed them like once in two weeks or even more than that. It's only when I have the chance to go to that archery that I attended today. So you can see how management can also affect the growth of your fishes. So ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, I will want you to look into all these parameters I've mentioned, work on them, and you will see results. Definitely, you will see results. So ladies and gentlemen, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please endeavor to subscribe. Thank you so much.